Larry Phillips uh, from Team Midtown Racing. I live here in Newport and we sail here all summer. Looking forward to sailing for the championship here as well. Hopefully we have uh, some local knowledge. It'll still be a, a tough, tough race. It's a competitive fleet and we came very close last year, a, a race short. Uh, so hopefully this year we can uh, improve on that. I own a couple different businesses. I own a couple local uh, restaurants, but my main business is I'm a real estate developer. I've had a summer house here for a long time. And when my son started kindergarten, we had to leave early to go back to Maryland where I'm originally from. And it really uh, was disappointing to leave so early in the season. And we decided, uh, my wife and I, to move here the following year full time. It's been a great decision. It's been a great town to raise kids. Uh, it's a wonderful place to live. I never sailed before this boat, so I've been sailing about four years now. The longer I lived in Newport, the more I realized I probably should partake in the sailing world here. It's so, you know, deep and dynamic. It just never really happened. I'm busy doing kind of my own thing. My wife urged me to take a um, test sail in the M32 at the boat show years ago, and that kind of led to me buying a boat. Uh, I enjoyed the speed of the boat. I really wasn't interested in slow sailing. It just never appealed to me. Um, I, I've sailed a Hobie Cat a couple times, which was fun in college. Sailing on the, uh, the M32 was really exhilarating, and I could picture myself after that test sail being a sailor on that boat. So after a few charter uh, trips with it, I decided the only way I would get better is buy a boat. So I made the, the leap and it's been uh, really nothing but fun and excitement since. Just started racing in uh, Miami one winter and we finished last a lot and then eventually we were eighth place and then seventh and worked our way up over the next year or two until we you know, come in second a lot, third a lot. Uh, we've won a regatta or two, um, gradually gotten gotten better at it and we've finished um, third in the last two world championships. We really um, try to take advantage of kind of the natural beauty here and uh, surf, whether it's kite surfing, foiling now, um, sailing, uh, fishing. So we're, I'm on the water a lot. We'll leave the boats in through November and go out to the Block Island, um, Point Judith, just random places offshore and go surfing. This season's been pretty mediocre for us. Um, we're a slow starter. Uh, I didn't sail last winter. I had a, um, a knee replacement, so I was really slow to um, get back into sailing this summer. In time for the Worlds now, I'm pretty much, I'm not 100%, but pretty close. Um, actually better than I was for last year's Worlds where I was uh, on crutches, but I feel good. Uh, we've had a couple of great practices in the last couple of days. We've had a couple of injuries on the boat, so we have a, a substitution. We were um, pretty smooth today working together, and I don't think it will uh, hamper our performance at all. One of the challenges for me was that I, I don't really know the, the rules of sailing. So um, who has right away at such a high speed is very, uh, intimidating. Even now, I, I have to ask sometimes just to be double sure that I have the right of way and now I understand, all right, this is what I can do, this is what I can't do. It's a gradual process of, uh, I think, overcoming the fear of the boat. And once that happens, it's really um, just uh, a, a thrill ride on the boat. So, uh, there's always moments in every regatta where I don't quite know what to do. A lot of that is that I have someone else that's thinking for me of what to do. So uh, that's always a little intimidating not to know where I'm going to turn when I see a boat coming at me and I don't have the rights. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's an ongoing learning curve. I may yell once in a while on the boat um, underway when I'm just um, a little frustrated. I don't get enough information from the crew. Uh, that's kind of my biggest concern is driving the boat. Uh, you're, you're a bit in the dark sometimes on where to go. It's like driving a car and someone's giving you directions and then they just stop and don't give you anything. 
So um, I tried to emphasize for the crew to, to paint the picture uh, so I can react a little bit quicker. It's very hard for them to think which way they're gonna, they want the boat to go, vocalize it, and for me to process it and make it happen really, uh, you know, spur the moment. So I try to emphasize, give me like a game plan. And if the game plan changes, then I know don't go left anymore, go right. So uh, that's always a work in progress. But otherwise we're low stress. Uh, we really don't do much debriefing or, or prep before the races. We just go out and sail. Um, I really just want to uh, keep the sailing to a, a very fun level for me. It's really a stress relief from work. So I don't want the sailing to add stress. So I, you know, I want to win, it's great to win, um, but at the end of the day, I feel just as uh, kind of satisfied to um, have sailed and sailed well. Now, I haven't sailed in other fleets, but every time someone sails with me new, they say, oh, this is the best. So uh, it keeps me sailing this and nothing else. Everyone wants to win. The teams are all very evenly matched. Um, you know, there's, there's a few that are a bit more polished. You see in the results come out on top, but really on any given day, um, almost any of the teams can win. Um, I think over the world championship, that, that gets harder and harder for any team to win. But um, certainly any team can win. You know, any team can have a great four days. And, and that's really what it, it takes. You really can't have too many mistakes. A couple small ones, but big mistakes in this fleet will really knock you back quickly. It would be great to, to win it here in Newport. Just to kind of put that feather in my cap, it's not a, uh, you know, it's not, it hasn't been a lifelong dream because this has only been going on for about four years. So uh, I understand how hard it is to win the championship just from last year, how close we got and how a single little mistake cost us the championship. You know, I, I assume people that sail their whole lives never win a championship. So uh, if we get close or, or win it, it, it would be great, but I don't think it would change much. We'd still just keep sailing and, and enjoying the boat. You know, most importantly, we just want to have uh, a great time when we're sailing.